Right, morning everyone. Bob here from Greybeard Models. So, because there was, um, as there was no uh, detail on the inside of the doors, um, what I've done there is uh, laminated some strip, um, the evergreen strip, um, put that down in there just to, just to give an impression of the padding that's on the inside of the on the inside of the doors um, that's come out quite well and that sits on that sits on the chassis like that now the the seat I was going to I was going to have a go at doing it with milliput but the milliput just breaks up as I was carving the hexagon sorry the the, the um, diamond shape um, pattern for the leather um, so that didn't work very well um, so I've taken that off and uh, replaced it with some I think it's 20 thou sheet um, which I've scribed which will give me the impression I think under paint so now the next thing to do is to basically get that in there get everything into position and then trim trim the back there um, what I'm trying to replicate is, is, is what it's got on, on, the, on the box art because um, on the box art it, it, this looks like the all of that padding is actually sort of round around the, the inside of the cab more so I'm trying to make that look a little bit more uh, representative of that but uh, that's, that seems to be coming out okay. Um, the hood. The hood I've got has sorted out. Oh. Um, the hood I've got sorted out now. That's all joined. Dealt with that seam there. That should disappear under primer. Um, just going to do a little bit more dressing on that joint there. And that should slide into place there so that's that's all good um, and that, that, that should look okay I think it's a little bit tight on the on the the seat base or the bottom of the cab there but that's okay um, just need to dress the fit a little bit more but that's that's that section done so that, I'm quite pleased with that that can all go under paint and <clears throat> what I'm working on now is getting all the wheels sorted out um, they're not that good to be honest the, 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 the lining up the the spokes and all of that but, the, but they'll do they'll, they'll come together quite nicely I think um, just got to tidy up the seams and then uh, just kind of replicate the once all the seams are tidied up and I've got this sanded back on, on all the wheels and you know bits of filling and whatever um, and then replicate the tread pattern on there There's some interesting um, changes made um, as you may recall um, I had some issues with the position of the seat and the rear of the cab body on the on the truck and uh, I was going to do the checker pattern and all of that sort of stuff on the seat um, but actually a few comments were made online that actually, that um, the picture on the box from the uh, <coughs> oh there in here um, looked like a hot rod body or a hot rod liner and I hadn't even thought about that um, so what I did I got this kit out as you may have recalled um, I bought this um, 
116 scale Model A pickup and I thought I'd just check what they've done in there although it's a different scale give me an idea well first things first the, the seat is totally different um, it's just a plain back um, and it's proportionally quite different to this one um, the dimensions are quite different so what I'm going to do is replicate that part on that part so I've put a piece of card on there sanded that down I've got a piece of card on the back just to, to replicate this this back part um, it, that's in the middle of, of being done um, the other thing was the insides of the doors had, had the had this sort of vertical um, padding on them in that truck in that model um, and that's different to what's on the the 116 scale kit because on the 116 scale kit they've got this just sort of fairly plain liner and one of these I think these are elasticated pockets aren't they they sort of open out like that um, when I get to make that build this kit I might might actually do a bit more with that but I don't know yet so what I'm going to do is on the inside of the, the cab body um, I'm going to replicate those um, but it obviously in a smaller scale um, so it should be interesting slightly change of direction but I think that will make everything a little bit uh, more authentic so we'll move on and I'll come back to you in a sec so there's been a bit of uh, progress on on the body shell um, of the truck um, as you can see got all of this all sort of mocked up I've actually done the the wood effect in the bottom of the the rear of the truck and if I take that off um, this wood effect underneath here for some reason but you guys should know in the state should know why what that's all about I did a bit more research online about the whole seat set up and taking this apart um, as you can see I've now got to a stage where I've pretty much mimicked what was in I'll get back into shot uh, mimicked what was in the um, 1 16th scale kit um, so I've just created this sort of um, almost like a planar seat but I brought up the edges of the of the the seat pan here I, I think it's a seat pan but it seems to be more in keeping with some of the pictures that I've, I've seen online as well um, so that's a better seat I think and the cab shell um, just got to give a little blast of undercoat in there and then I can start thinking about putting some colour paint on there um, as I said I've done the, the wood effect here I wanted a sort of a dirty wood a dirtier older wood didn't <laughs> um, didn't really want to have sort of a new looking timbers so I needed some old effects and done a similar effect on the underside there but I've got to pick out obviously the chassis so the next the next thing to do on this one will be to I think detail the chassis not I'm not too sure which way around to do this I was going to detail the chassis and um, and do this area here in, in a sort of black um, and then mark everything up and then do the uh, the, the fenders and, and the, the footballs here and, and all of that um, in the, the colour that I'm going to do the truck and then obviously you've got the mats here or the tread plates here um, which I was going to do a matte black or a rubber black um, and obviously the rest of the body uh, managed to get all this seam sorted out um, that was a bit of a pig 
actually managed to take off the, the there was a, a a cap there for the for the fuel tank a uh, little, little nodule there of paint but obviously that's all got to be sorted out um and I, I can make i can remake the the gas cap there and the insides of the doors are now going to be like this um just given them a, 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 a made these up out of out of um sort of plastic card um they come out quite well actually i think it's a darn sight better than what was in there um so that that'll look pretty cool i think so these are ready for paint again not really sure what color to do them tempted to do them a sort of a, a gray color and do the seat a gray color and the floor pan here um i don't know black or rubberized black rubber sort of rubber tire black something of that that ilk um, and then the sides here um, and along there and this side and the back and do it doing the color that I'm going to do the body shell um, um, primer on the steering wheel and got a primer on all the wheels now so just got to start thinking around getting the finished color um, going to go through the paint that I've got tempted to do it red because it's red on red on the box um, I'm wondering whether or not to do it some other color but uh, I'll do a bit more research before I go on with that so um, I think that's all the progress I've got for the moment and uh, just like to say thank you to all, all my subscribers for watching um, the new ones any old ones um, and I uh, hope you find this uh, this build interesting I certainly have so thanks for watching I'll see you soon